During my last race, I started to have intermittent problems with the ABS, which is a super common thing on uh, the C5 Corvette. So in these later uh, builds, this is a 2001 Z06, the ABS module is serviceable. Uh, apparently what happens, like in this case, I had a code of uh, C1214 in the traction control module, which is basically indicating that there's a bad relay coil. Uh, but what's really happening there is that the soldering joints on the coil to the circuit board are faulty. So uh, the fix for this is relatively easy. And what you need to do is take out the electronic portion of the ABS module. And you can see over here, uh, my ABS module is, or the, the block is still in place, including the brake lines. And that's part of the reason it makes it easy. You don't need to disconnect these lines, which means you don't need to enter, uh, let any air into the system and there's no bleeding or anything like that that needs to happen afterwards. So all you're doing is taking off the electronic portion of it. Mine is already off. Uh, so that's where it was down there. And the, the piece, the culprit in and of itself is right here, right? So this is where everything connects to it. Removing it is pretty simple. There are uh, six screws with a T25 Torx head. If I can get that right there. Um, and so there are four, so one at each corner. And then there are two in the middle, right there and right there. Uh, relatively easy to get out, uh, but these guys in the middle, you need to have some type of a long Torx bit. So this is basically what I used here to get inside there. Um, the corner ones I was able to use just a screwdriver handle to get to it. Uh, I had to get a little bit creative with a, with a small ratchet uh, to be able to get into the, the ones in the center though, uh, due to some interference. But nothing in the car really needed to come out. Um, I did end up about halfway through the job deciding that I wanted to loosen up the, um, the upper radiator mount so that I could just push it forward a little bit to give myself a little bit of extra clearance. So that was easy enough. And I imagine that reinstallation here is going to be just uh, the opposite of pulling it out, which only took me about 15 minutes coming out. So no big deal. Um, there are some videos out there on the internet about how to fix these things. You can do it yourself um, if you happen to be skilled at soldering and are comfortable with that kind of thing. Um, I haven't done a ton of it, so I went ahead and sent mine in to be fixed. I sent it to ABS Fixer. Um, they are super quick with these things. They got it and turned it around to me uh, within 24 hours. They also went ahead and put on a surge suppressor, which is recommended by them to protect the ABS motor when it comes on during the self-check. So, so that's about it. 150 bucks. Uh, they got it turned around within 24 hours. I've got it back within a week and uh, ready to slap it in. Uh, maybe the quick tip here is that I wish I would have done this um, as a preventative measure when I had the car apart uh, because it was kind of a bummer having it kick on and start to cause an issue during a race weekend. Uh, so if you've got access to it while you've got the car apart, it might be a good idea to just go ahead and pull the thing and send it in since it's a known issue.